I wanted to go over some of the prerequisites you need to have so that you can follow along. So this is going to be a Spring Boot backend application and the whole Spring environment is primarily based on Java. So you, it's very important that you understand Java in Java Spring or Spring in Spring Boot. So right off the bat, you need to understand those two technologies because we're going to use the programming language Java with Spring and Spring Boot to build the entire backend. So you need to have some good understanding of those technologies. And then we have front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So since we're going to be building a front-end application, you need to be familiar with things like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, you don't need to know JavaScript like an expert, uh, but you need to have some basic concepts of JavaScript and, and how it works. And then we have Angular with TypeScript. Now, Angular uses TypeScript, and TypeScript is really just a super set of JavaScript. It helps write better JavaScript code. And Angular, which is a JavaScript framework, it uses TypeScript. So we're going to be writing the majority of our code for Angular in TypeScript. So it makes sense that you understand what TypeScript is and how it uses. And then we have HTTP. HTTP, I'm just expecting you to understand the basic concepts of HTTP, like requests and response, um, you know, headers, so that you're not super confused when the front end is communicating with the back end, because that communication is going to be done over HTTP, which is like the whole thing with API, because you can call them um, over the internet. And then we have the command line interface. Now, the reason this is on here, it's because I'm going to use an HTTP client, and that HTTP client is called HTTP Pi. It's really nice when you need an HTTP client to call the backend or make a call to the backend. I'm also going to be using Postman, um, but I want to show you how you can, you know, achieve the same goals that you can achieve in Postman with HTTP Pi, which is like curl, which is like a command line program that you can use to make HTTP requests. And then understanding of databases. Now, you don't need to be an expert at, you know, SQL or anything like that. I just need you to understand the basic concepts of what a database is and it's, it's used to store data and things like that because we're going to have a very simple configuration in our application so that we can connect to a MySQL database. So um, that's pretty much it. Like you don't really have to be an expert in any of those technologies at all. I just want to make sure that you're aware of what to expect. So uh, make sure you have some basic understandings of those uh, technologies. I want to show you where you can go to get some of those things that you need to, to know and some of the environment setup that you need to do. So right here, I am at java.com and that's where you go to download Java. So if you don't have the Java development kit or the JJK, you can just come here and then uh, click on this button here to download it and then go through the steps. Now, there are many, many resources online that you can use to, you know, they will teach you how to download and install Java. Um, so I'm not going to be doing that in, in, in this lecture, but you should definitely, you know, Google it or, and find some resource on, 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 on the Internet and they will show you how to do this uh, properly, like set it up and uh, and everything. So that's Java and then Node.js. Now, we don't necessarily need Node.js. Our backend is not going to be built on, with Node. It's going to be built with a Spring Boot. But the reason we need Node.js here, it's because we're going to use the NPM Packet Manager to install the um, Angular CLI, which we're going to be using to build our Angular application. So um, you can just click on this green button here uh, or get whatever version you want. Doesn't really matter. And then once you have the um, Node.js package installed, then you will have access to NPM, which is Node Packet Manager, which is like a command that you can use to download and install stuff. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing so that we can install the Angular CLI here. So as you can see, we just say NPM, which is Node Packet Manager, you're going to get from installing Node.js. And then you can just install um, the Angular CLI globally on your computer. Now, you don't need to run those other three commands because we're not going to be building the front end first. We're going to be building the back end first. So you just need to run that one command, uh, the first one, and then um, you should be good to go. Now, for my IDE for the for Java, I'm going to be using IntelliJ. And as you can see here, here's IntelliJ. You can get the community version if you don't want to pay for it. I have a paid version, but you don't necessarily have to have a paid version. You can just, just get the free version or you can use any other ID, Java ID or whatever text editor you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you guys what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using IntelliJ and you can just click on download here to download it. And that's what I'm going to be using to uh, for the back end. And then I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code for the front end. As you can see here, Visual Studio Code is like a very nice text editor. It's super powerful and very popular these days. Um, so I'm going to be using it to build the actual um, front end. And then as our um, HTTP clients, I'm going to be using Postman. Postman also very popular, but you can use uh, Insomnia or any other 
um, you know, client library that you want. But I'm going to be using Postman uh, with HTTP Pi though, because I want to show you how you can actually make requests using HTTP Pi. Or if you want, you can just use curl. You don't necessarily have to install HTTP Pi just for this. Uh, but I'm just going to show you how it's it's such a nice, uh, very nice command that you can use, which is HTTP PI to make HTTP requests. Um, that's pretty much everything you need to have um, configured in your computer. And if you're already a developer or whatever configuration you already have and you like it, you don't need to do any of these things. Like you don't need to download any things I just talked about here. You can just stick to what you like. And the next lecture, we're just going to dive into coding. So I'll see you guys.